Okay, now we're going to do a proof. We're going to prove the congruent supplements theorem. And here you see we have angle one, angle two, these are together, angle three, angle four. Our given information over here is that angle one and angle two are supplements, angle three and angle four are supplements, and angle one is congruent to angle four. And what am I looking for? I'm looking to prove that angle two is congruent to angle three. So the first thing that I'll start with, as always, are my givens. So I know that angle one and angle two are supplements. I know angle three and angle four are supplements. And I know that angle one is congruent to angle four. And these are all given to me. Now, I'm gonna use the definition of supplementary angles. I know that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. That's the definition of supplementary angles. I also have the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four equals 180 degrees. This is my definition of supplementary angles. Now, what I want to see here is that I have 1 plus 2 equals 180. 1 plus 2 equals 180. The measure of 3 plus 4 equals 180. So you see, what they have in common is the 180. 180 here, 180 here, something in common. 1 and 2 looks different than 3 and 4. So remember our definition for transitive, our transitive property of equality says that A equals B, A equals B, and B equals C, then A equals C. So I can now write that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four. And again, this is my uh, transitive property of equality. Now, we see that I have one is equal to four. Angle one is congruent to angle four. So I can now say that the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle four. And this is my definition of congruent angles. And since I have angle one is equal to the measure of angle four, I can now substitute. I'm gonna substitute this up into here, and I'm gonna change the four to a one since these are two equals. So I have measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four. And all I did was substitution. Now, look what I have. This should be measure of angle one. We substituted angle one in for four. Angle one went in for four because these are equal. So measure of angle one plus measure of angle two equals measure of angle three 
plus a measure of angle one. Now you see we have one and one. Since I have the same thing on both sides, I can subtract the same thing from both sides, which leaves me the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle three. And this is from my subtraction, my subtraction property of equality. So my subtraction property of equality says I can subtract the same thing from both sides. So I subtracted one from both sides, leaving me measure of angle two is equal to measure of angle three. But am I done? No, I want to know that they are congruent. But now that I have the measures equal, I can then say that angle two is congruent to angle three and this is my definition of congruent angles. So I was able to do my proof. I have angle two congruent to angle three because of my definition of congruent angles. I show all of my steps and my proofs and my properties and I know for a fact, no assumption, I know for a fact, angle two is congruent to angle three.